Today we will talk about the low-carb or ketogenic diet. If you are following this diet regularly for a long time, what could be its side effects? In this diet, you reduce the intake of bread, rice, flour, and sugary foods. Often, when you read news or articles about the ketogenic diet or take advice from a diet expert, they say you can follow it for a short time but not for long, as it may have side effects. Is this true? Let's discuss this in this video. The first thing to understand is that carbohydrates like bread, rice, and sugar are not essential. This means your body does not necessarily need them the way it needs protein, essential amino acids, and fats. There are essential amino acids from protein and essential fatty acids from fats, but there is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. However, this does not mean that you do not need carbohydrates at all. Carbohydrates also provide essential vitamins and minerals to the body, which are necessary for overall health. For example, the carbohydrates found in vegetables provide energy along with vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Therefore, consuming carbohydrates has its benefits. It is important to remember that your body does not need carbohydrates just for the sake of carbs, but for the beneficial nutrients that come along with them, such as vitamins, minerals, and fiber. If your body does not get glucose or the energy derived from glucose, it does not cause significant harm. You might wonder then, where will your energy come from? The answer is that your body can efficiently run on fats or ketones. It is not necessary to always rely on glucose. Some people claim that a low-carb diet can harm the thyroid. However, the thyroid does not specifically require glucose. Thyroid health is linked to good nutrition, not glucose intake. Thyroid issues often arise from following a low-calorie diet not a low-carb diet. A low-calorie diet can impact the thyroid, but low-carb and low-calorie diets are not the same. They are two different things. Therefore, thyroid issues are not caused by a lack of carbohydrates, but by a deficiency of essential nutrients in the diet. When I recommend a ketogenic diet, I always advise consuming plenty of vegetables because they provide the necessary vitamins and minerals, which are also beneficial for thyroid health. Our body needs nutrients from vegetables, not necessarily from grains. This is because grains like wheat and rice are harder to digest and contain gluten, a protein that is not easily broken down in the body and can affect digestion. Additionally, grains quickly convert into sugar in the body, which increases blood sugar levels. Another misconception is that a low-carb diet means a high-protein diet. This is not necessarily true. A low-carb diet does not require excessive protein unless you are actively building muscle in the gym. Protein is essential because it provides amino acids, which the body uses to produce its own proteins. Some people argue that this diet is unhealthy because it eliminates an entire food group. But what are you actually eliminating? You are cutting out refined flour products, unhealthy processed foods, refined cooking oils, synthetic and refined bread, biscuits, sweets, cakes, fast food, chips, samosas, pakoras, and junk food, items that are not very healthy to begin with. These foods are mostly made of refined carbs and sugar. As for essential nutrients like B vitamins and others, you can get them from various other foods such as vegetables, fruits, meat, and lentils. This means you are only eliminating less beneficial foods while still obtaining essential nutrients from other healthier sources. Now, it is important to understand the long-term benefits of a low-carb diet. If followed for an extended period, it can lower insulin levels, improve heart health, aid in weight loss, boost metabolism, help maintain a healthy weight, stabilize energy levels, improve skin health, reduce acne, alleviate PCOS symptoms, decrease liver fat, enhance brain function, improve cognitive abilities, elevate mood, and lower the risk of dementia. These benefits are based on common sense, but as always, whenever something is too good, some people will try to discredit it. This is common, and people will always have differing opinions. However, you should ignore the negativity and continue following a low-carb diet if it works for you. I will see you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.